In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create this nice dynamic data label chart. So you can see we have this data sheet and from this data, we simply create stake column chart. But the amazing thing in this chart, we can see the percentage of each quarter just by clicking simple slicer button. So you can see percentage of each quarter. If you want to see the dollar amount, this will show you same amount as mentioned here for each of the quarter. So how we can create this nice, amazing chart without VBA? I will show you step by step in this video. Consider we have this data set. The first thing we need to select all of the data set recommended chart. I will click all charts column chart and in column chart I will select stake column chart. I will choose the second layout hit OK to get a basic chart. I will click chart title hit delete key and then I will click vertical x axis and hit delete key because we don't want those in this chart. Further we need to select any of the column right click format data series decrease the gap with 10 or 4 or 5 whatever you want in this case i will leave this to attend to perfectly display data label next we will create a helper table for the slicer on my past video i created those table on the bottom of the sheet but in this video i will insert new worksheet and i will type amount type and the next heading will be subtotal for the amount type the first row will be dollar and the second row will be the percent and here i will write simple subtotal function i will choose 103 which is actually the counter function but excluding header and row i will select a2 reference close the bracket hit enter and for the percentage i will simply write one without formula and hit enter i will select all of this data set hit ctrl t to convert this to a table hit ok and now i will select insert slicer based on amount type i will insert a slicer i will choose any of the format for my slicer now i will go to slicer setting of the display header for this slicer hit ok and we will create this type of slicer the next thing we simply hit ctrl x to cut the slicer from this new worksheet ctrl v to paste it somewhere on this blank data sheet the next thing we will create simple for helper columns i'm just going to select all of the columns ctrl c ctrl v to paste the same column name next we will write subtotal function subtotal for the subtotal in this case i will choose 109 so i'm just going to double click and for the reference on a new worksheet you can see subtotal so i'm just going to select all of the column close the bracket hit enter and now if we click the dollar this will show me is zero and if i click on percentage this will give me one result what if i drag this function to the right and the bottom so you can see the reference is changing and we want to log this reference so to log the reference in table format we simply add bracket here ctrl c to copy the subtotal hit colon ctrl v to paste close the square bracket and this will give me the same result but now if i drag to the right and to the bottom of the range the reference is constant now if i click dollar it will give me zero again for all of the set now this is very important now we will simply write simple if condition if whole function result equal to zero mean if this is equal to zero we want to display the same amount otherwise we want to display the percentage but how to calculate the percentage so b2 divide by all of the row sum so sum all of the data set but before closing the bracket we will hit f4 key because we will drag this formula but this is absolutely absolute reference this is to log the row not the column but in this case i'm just going to log the column not the row so hit f4 key three time close the bracket for sum close the bracket for if condition hit enter and this will give me the result now if i drag this to the right and to the bottom this will give me the same result if i click percentage this will give me percentage if i click dollar this will give me the dollar amount but the question is how to format this data if i click percentage this will show me percent format and if i click dollar this will show me the dollar amount format so for those we will simply write the text function to display the dollar as well as the percentage so before b2 i will write text open the bracket the value is b2 comma and format in this case quotation mark dollar zero amount quotation mark again close the bracket for b2 hit enter and now you can see we have perfectly display the dollar amount what you need to do if i click on the percentage again this is not in percent format so we will convert this result to a percent format so before we do again type text and in this case this whole is my text and now i will insert comma and for the format i will type percent 0, 0.00 close the quotation mark close the bracket for text function hit enter we will get 
percent amount now if i drag this formula to the right side and to the bottom of the range it will perfectly display me the percentage if i click on dollar amount this will display me the dollar amount next we need to insert data label based on these helper column so i'm just going to click any of the slicer first plus i can data label on a data label i will get more options i will click again label options uncheck the value click value from cell select all of the cells on the first row in my helper range hit ok select the second slicer hit plus icon data label more options label option uncheck the value value from sales and select the second row hit ok and i will do this for the rest now we need to format this data label to look perfect so i'm just going to click increase the font size to let's say 14 and font color will be white so i will do this for the rest as well now if i click percentage this will show me percent amount on my column if i click dollar this will display perfectly my dollar amount so this is how we can dynamic data label on column chart of course we need to do a little bit formatting so the first thing i will right click format chart area size and properties don't move and size with cell i will do the same for my slicer size and properties don't move or size with cell so this is already click the next thing we simply select all of the new helper columns right click and hide those column but of course the data label has been hidden so click on the chart chart design select data hidden and empty row show data in hidden row and column hit ok and this will display my header based on hidden rows the next we simply format this chart so i'm just going to move this chart we will move the slicer on a very top in this case i will decrease the height of the slicer and increase the width of slicer now we will click on view tab to off the grid line as well now we will go to insert insert text box simply create the text box here and write data label the next thing we click on shape format shape fill no fill shape outline no outline and move this text box inside the slicer of course you can do a little bit formatting like this one but this is how you can create dynamic data label chart i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe my channel for more video thank you so much